Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Okay, hello class. Sorry today's video is a little bit late, but I thought I would do something a little bit different today. Um, all of my videos so far, most of them have been very, um, very whiteboard and, and example problem heavy, which is fine. But today I thought we would do something that was a little bit more hands-on, something that you could actually, um, actually interact with, okay? So we're talking about circles, and you can't talk about circles without talking about pi. Pi is one of those numbers that, like, everybody knows a little bit about it. Um, there are internet memes that go around about it. Your math teacher has it tattooed to his arm. Um, and it's, it's one of, it, for lack of a better term, it's a very popular number. Um, but when you ask people to list what pi is and, and its defining characteristics, most people don't know where pi actually came from. They know that it's irrational, they know that there's an infinite number of digits that, that never really repeat and never really uh, end, but it's, it's tough to, to get a hold on what pi actually means. And that's what we're going to do today, okay? So I'm going to move the camera down, and I'm actually going to flip it over. And uh, here's what you're going to need for this, uh, for this experiment, okay? You're going to need a ruler or a tape measure. Uh, in fact, if you have one of the, 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 the flexible like ribbon-like tape measures, that would be the best. Um, I don't have any of those, sadly, so I'm going to have a hard time. Pen and paper. This is just an envelope. It's just scratch paper. You don't need anything specific. Although, you know, your notes might be a good plan. And then you're, then you're going to need some circles, okay? Now, you should be able to find circles all around your house. I've got this Red Bull can here. That's a circle. I've got this uh, jar of peanut butter here. That's a circle. I've got this, um, this brush, which is meant for getting shampoo into very thick hair. Don't judge me. That's a circle. Um, I've got this, uh, this mason jar of my water. That's a circle. So there are circles all over the place, is my point. And we're going to look specifically at, at the moment, this Red Bull can. Now, if you don't have one of the really nice bendable um, measuring tapes, like this one doesn't bend very well. Like I couldn't really wrap this around something very well because it doesn't, it doesn't bend right. So I need some string. And unfortunately, I didn't bring any string from my classroom and I'm not gonna go all the way to the classroom just to get some string. So I'm just gonna get creative and I'm gonna use this headphone uh, cord, okay? I'm gonna use this, this headphone cord like a string, and I'm gonna use that to measure distance around things, okay? So. Here's the idea. Okay, so now I've cleared the table of everything except for the stuff I need right at the beginning. So you're gonna start with one of your circles, and your measuring device, okay? And what I want you to do is to try to find the widest point, the widest spot, and measure how far across that is, okay? So let's see. Looks like our halfway point is here-ish. No. There we go. I'm seeing a diameter of 5.1 centimeters. Do you agree? 5.1 centimeters. I'm going all the way to the outside edge of the can. 5.1 centimeters. Is there any way I can slide this up and down and make it more than 5.1? Not really. It looks like 5.1 is the diameter. Okay, so now that we know the diameter of this Red Bull can, we now need to know the circumference. We need to know the distance around the circle, all right? Now that's kind of tough to measure directly, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a piece of string to wrap around the can and then, and then uh, pull that string out 
and, and measure it. Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. Now, as I said before, I don't have string, so I'm using this headphone uh, cord. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the end of the headphone uh, jack here. I'm going to put the end of the headphone jack here on the can, and I'm going to wrap the cable around keeping it parallel to the top and bottom of the can. See, if it starts to go crooked, I, I adjust it so that it's going nice and straight around. Okay? You'll get weird results if you don't make it nice and tight. Um, but, one thing to note, um, don't use string that stretches. Right, string that stretches will will give you bad results because it won't be stretching when you measure it later. So, right here is where the two overlap. I know that looks crooked, but that's just because it's it's lying over. So I'm going to pull this nice and tight. I'm going to mark with my finger the spot on the string where it went all the way around, and now I have a distance I can measure. No. Okay. okay, sorry about that. I had a camera glitch really fast, and uh, I had to restart everything while maintaining this spot with my finger. It wasn't very comfortable. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and we're going to see how long this is. So I've pinched the beginning to the zero marker. And I'm stretching this out. And let's see if we can figure out. I've got the spot so I can let go of the other side. Let's zoom in and see where exactly this is. That looks like 17.5 17.5 centimeters around. So now we have that the circumference is 17.5 centimeters. Okay? For this Red Bull can, the diameter was 5.1 centimeters, the circumference is 17.5 centimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the circumference and we're going to divide it by the diameter. which would be 17.5 divided by 5.1. Hey Google, what's 17.5 divided by 5.1? The answer is approximately 3.431373. 3.43. So I want to and did the same process with this peanut butter jar and this mason jar. And here's my calculations. For the Red Bull can, as you can see, the uh, diameter was 5.1 centimeters, the circumference was 17.5. When I divided the two, I got 3.43 as my ratio. For peanut butter, my diameter was 9.2 centimeters, my circumference was 29.2 centimeters, um, so my ratio was 3.17. And for the mason jar, sorry for the, uh, the scribble, my diameter was 8.2 centimeters, my circumference was 26.6 centimeters, so my ratio was 3.24. Now, these ratios should be pretty close to something that you should be familiar with, something that we talked about at the beginning of this video, something that is once again tattooed on my wrist. This is pi. This is where pi comes from. It's not a number that we mathematicians just made up and apply somewhere. Pi was originally found and it got more and more accurate. Uh, it was originally found exactly how we found it, by taking the circumference of a circle and dividing it by the diameter of the circle. And 
as we got more and more precise methods of measuring, we got more and more precise measurements of pi. Um, until finally we have computers that can calculate it out to billions and billions of decimals like we ever need that.